<laughs> What's up guys, Lazy here, here to take up another 6 minutes and 20 seconds of your precious time. Uh, we're on cargo today. Before we start, I'd like to give a shout out to all of my subscribers. Um, especially to you new guys who've just subscribed to my channel. I know who you are because I get an email, you know, in the Gmail and everything to see exactly who are the people who subscribed to me. Yeah. Thank you guys very much. And we're getting up there. We're getting up to 1100 now. So that that's really exciting. That was my birthday wish. If you guys remember, are you guys who were with me before? That is my dream for right now to have 1100 subs. And so, um, yeah. So today we're gonna be talking about cargo. And uh, this is a particularly easy map to play on as long as you follow the rules. As you can see there, I did not follow the rules, and I'm gonna explain some of the rules with you guys today. I've, uh, I've charted my activity on this map for a while now, looked at some heat stuff on Elite and everything like that, and um, just personal experience, you know, I, I, I know which, which, which uh, spots on the map are kill zones, traffic zones, I made a new few zones, you know, let's go ahead and take a look at the chart I made, you guys can pause this and everything to ch check it out. But uh, the red, the red triangles, those are the kill zones. The uh, yellow arrows, those can go either way. Those are the traffic zones and the transition points, which is a new thing I haven't talked about. Um, those are the blue pentagons. Now on cargo, there are only two main transition points, and I'm sure you guys will agree with me after I explain to you what a uh, transition point is. A transition point is more or less a, a camping location. Um, I, I want to say that it's a, it's a place where everyone is mo most attracted to go to, but that's not fair. It's not a really correct terminology. Um, in my experience, I guess I can say, most of the time, whenever I'm playing on cargo or any map, there. I mean, you guys, you guys can relate to this. There's always one spot where it just seems like it gets the most activity at, and um, it's different from a kill zone, because in a kill zone, everyone's just not walking up there and dying and dying and dying. In a transition point or a fortification point, people who hold that point are usually the winners of the game. And as you can see in that, those two spots, number one being in the location right in front of me, where everyone stands up on that on that little bridge right on that little uh, cargo bin right there and just snipes or whatever. If you're controlling that area, you're controlling most of the kill zones, and so there's really no big deal as far as deaths or anything that, that that's going around in that point because your whole team is there. Your whole team is watching each other's back, um, not on purpose, of course, you know, because nobody can give a crap about their teammates in this game. Um, it's it, it's difficult to, it's difficult to get people out of those fortification points or those transition points whenever whenever they do occupy them. I call it a transition point because when you occupy it, the the whole set of spawns everywhere switches up and the whole game becomes anew and you have to restart from uh, from scratch and, and figure out okay which way are they coming okay they're coming from this location all right let's fortify here and if you fail to do so then yeah the, the chances are you're not going to be holding that that fortification point any any longer than uh, you know a couple of a couple of, of, of seconds you know maybe maybe a minute or so before someone you know walks up in there with the the tools of black ops 2 destruction such whether it be a launcher or such you know um, another uh, another transition point on this game is the one that building way to the to the far to the far north of the uh, of the uh, of the map I wish I could show it to you guys but I'm pretty sure you all know exactly what I'm talking about I guess I should have pulled up another another picture about it but um, if I don't do that uh, it's that is an awesome emblem <laughs> anyway um, it's pretty it's pretty obvious that everyone likes to camp in that building like just di diagonally in front of me like right that building way back there and I like to avoid that building as much as I can because I know that I have to watch these traffic points right here and and draw these people in this game I decided not to go all the way through the whole kill zone crap and transition points and everything like that. I decided to avoid all of the drama and try to get people to come to me and I did that very well this game I I feel like I 
I, I utilize I utilize the traffic points more and and everything to where I didn't I wasn't forced to go to the kill zone to get kills. As you can see, this is the building. The on top of me is the main fortification area. Everyone loves to camp in this building for some godforsaken reason. I don't know why. I certainly hate camping in this building. But um, I hypocritically did it this time because uh, you know I was on a pretty good kill streak and I wanted to keep things going before the for the team deathmatch ended. You know, the guys. I want you guys to study that map that I made. That 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 uh, cargo little heat spot map or whatever you want to call it. I want you guys to to study that because it, it can really help you out in the long run. So guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and um, just please you know tell your friends and everything about me and everything. And uh, until next time. I'm done.